This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, welcome back to another fabulous edition of Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. And with me today is Mitchell um, uh, Levy, who is the chief instigator at AHA That, AHA Books, actually AHA Everything. And <laughs> what, what I love about Mitchell is he's really come up with some unique ways to do a form of repurposing, which I think is an important word for all authors to understand. But just things that you are currently doing and and that you can recreate and push out in a nanosecond. And I'm talking about how would you like to write a book in less than a day? Really, how would you like to do that? Well, Mitchell and I are going to kiss on that today, but we're going to get into some other things um, that they're doing with AHA That to show you how you can really get out there with social media without offending anybody, but really uh, brand yourself and get your presence. And you do that by becoming your own chief instigator. And with that, Mitchell, welcome back. (laughs) It's great to be here. Nice intro. Thanks, Judith. (laughs) Well, I think we all should be our own instigators, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I'm actually... uh... I'm coming up with a new term that I that I, that I will absolutely share her, um, and it's an aha leader as opposed to a thought leader. So it's the next evolution of thought leadership is aha leadership. Oh, I like that, actually. Well, you know because, why? Because, you know, you know I always we, use we, ahas. I mean, yeah, I've always we, written we, in my copy, ahas. Oh, absolutely, but, uh, but you also, yeah. it's not just about the aha. It's the recognition that we have a seven-second attention span to capture somebody's attention. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. That the long form of writing works, but it works after you've captured somebody's attention and they decide that they have time to sit down with a cup of coffee and, 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 and pile up on the couch and really dig into your writing. Otherwise, the, the writing we have to do today has to be something that, you know, a Vine video, a, a tweet, a nice headline for a book, or a good, a good title of a book, it's got to capture somebody's attention immediately, or the, the, the reader is going to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the thing is that it, it, we're, we're, it's a soundbite generation, let's just put it that way. And we have to blame TV on that. We have to blame the Internet on, on all of that. But it also shows that people don't want to waste time. So you've got to have, you've got to be able to be pithy at times. You've got to have snap. You have to have crackle, crackle, and you got to have some pop. And it's one of the things that has always amazed me when I ask an author, "Tell me about your book." And all these words come out, and I keep going. And what what is your book about? <laughs> Who who is and then the other question I always ask who is your book for, and the reality is they can't get past their their initial spiel of how they started to write or what brought them to the party or whatever, and they don't get who they're writing exactly for, which is critical. But secondly, they don't get what the pain is of their reader, and all readers have some kind of pain. And that pain could be, I just want to be entertained for a bunch of hours and laugh my socks off or be spooked or whatever it is. That's what I'm looking for. For nonfiction, it's a, you know, a different uh, definition of what pain is. But they're looking for you to solve a solution. So I said, you know, I tell people for me is that when I introduce myself, I say, I'm Judith Bryles. I'm known as the book shepherd. And I show authors how to create books they never regret. 
And the purpose <laughs> is, or I could say, a great title, by I the way. Sh- have, you, have you written that book yet? Books you will not regret. <laughs> books you will not No, I haven't written that book yet. <laughs> But the or the other other phrase I will use, I show authors how to create books, uh, write books, and write and publish books with practical publishing guidance. It's short. It's less than fifteen words, and I, it is it is like pulling teeth, and encouraging people to sign up for having a crown every you know week type thing, um, to to get to the point where they can be short and succinct concise with who and what they're about. Yeah, you know, I loved what you said, and I want to add one more statement. So you basically said the, the author needs to know immediately what, what their book is for, what they're writing, what their book is about, and explain that in seven seconds. They also need to know, and you said, they need to know the pain point of the reader. I agree with those two, and let me add a third. And that is, what is the purpose of the book for the author, right? Which is really an interesting, and this is particularly true in nonfiction books, because in a nonfiction book, the Mm -hmm. primary purpose for the author is to close some other business, speaking, consulting, uh, you know, getting them excited about their product. If you think about the number of books in the marketplace today, that third element, that purpose, completely changes the time, effort, resources you put into your book writing and, more importantly, marketing. If you really understand before you start the book what the purpose of the book is for you as the author. Well, the, understanding the purpose, when, when an author that I'm working for with my book shepherd cap on, when they come in and they say, my purpose is is to build a speaking business, I can so channel into that, focus in on developing the book that, that I know, because I spent 30 years on the platform, that how to move that book into the position. And, that, and then that couples in the critical thing is, who is it for? Because that's who they're speaking for. Mm, exactly. And, and so it's those those three questions are should be the elementary questions. Well, well, I just want to write. If all you want to do is just want to write, then I'm going to tell y'all to just join a writing group and you can write your hearts out, because often in most writing groups there's no purpose. They they have no end point they're trying to get to to publish a book. And one of the things I have to do so often with authors who are in writing groups is to pull away from them because here's what happens, Mitchell, is that one, most of the people in the writing group don't have a goal to publish. They just love to write, which is fine and it's social. I get that. But when you are on the the train to get a book out and to get it published, you now are odd man out. And I'll tell you, their self-sabotage will happen. And the second thing is that a lot of these people in a writing group are writing about of so many different variables and, and writing arenas that the critiques they gave you may not be valid for who your, your audience is and what your purpose is about. And oh, it will end up sabotaging absolutely. you too. Well, you know what's interesting is the same book, the absolute same book, right? Let's not change anything. How about we change the title? The same book will work if you modify the uh, your purpose of the book. The same book w- will work in some cases and not for others. So you modify the audience you're going after. So the, mm-hmm. the, the real issue, Judith, it's, it's what is the lenses somebody's wearing when they're evaluating your book? And I've reordered those three things you just sent me, you, you, we just talked about. So let me just say them again. The first thing I think any author should think about is what's the pain of the reader, then what's the purpose for the author, then what's the book about. And I think think what happens is authors do it in the opposite way. The first thing they think about is they think about themselves and they think about, I want to write about this topic. (laughs) And I think that's the last thing they should be thinking about. My two cents. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to say now we really have four questions now, Mitchell. One is <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
for, I think we have to go for, one is, who is the book for? Two, what's the pain point? But what is their pain? Three, what's the purpose for the author? And four, what's the book about? Hmm. You still have to know who you're writing for. It's not everybody. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, you're right. It's critical. Oh, I like I like having three things. So, but but I'll have to add a fourth. <laughs> well, you know, it's because you added your purpose on. You know, I always had three. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think, so, I think that's the yeah, interesting so part. That, that's on the purpose. That, okay. So that's the aha. That's the aha moment. And I always, I mean, I've had uh, when I have spoken, I would often put up a slide. JB's aha, for example, and those are those wonderful takeaways that you get. We've all had them. I I get ahas when I watch movies. I get ahas when I read books. I get ahas when I have conversations. We had a lovely dinner last night with friends um, and she revealed something when she was working on a political campaign and an aha that that came about um, right after Obama was elected but not um, he the inauguration hadn't happened, and we had this huge financial crisis going on. And she was an insider, and she said, "Did you know that George W. Bush was calling Obama multiple times during the day and asking, what do you want to do next? What should I do? What what what, what do we need to do here?' And that a lot of people didn't know that." Bush was interacting directly with Obama because of the crisis that that was going on. So that was a you know one of our dinner ahas yeah. last night. So there you go. Fascinating. Well, <laughs> one one never fan. knows who you roam around with. <laughs> I'm a big fan of so so good transition, Judith, because what what people should recognize as it, you don't get an aha once a quarter or once a year or once mm-hmm. in your lifetime. You get if you really think about it, it's something that makes the light bulb go goes on. It's something that helps you change or think about something really small in a slightly different way. And then, of course, for me, once you get that aha, the question I want to ask you is, did you aha that? Mm-hmm. So and so, and, this, and, and, and here, I'm going to take a quick break here because when we're going to come back with that, you're going to okay. explain okay. how. We aha that, Mitchell. All right. Perfect. So with us is Mitchell Levy. We are talking about um, aha moments. Aha that, this and that. Maybe we say aha this and that. And <laughs> there's a variety of things to move you into your success quotient. And that's what we're really about, you being successful in a variety of areas. This is Judith Bryles. I'm your book shepherd. It's author you, your guide to book publishing. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you? Or another, Author You will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good with If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has possessed punch and panache author you is for you if you're a hobbyist or a casual author it's not join author you today through its website at author follow author you on twitter at author you and on facebook at author you where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily author you where the author goes to become seriously successful Every picture tells a story. 
And it's a truism that people do judge a book by its cover. Nick Selinger and NZ Graphics have been in the business of producing superior graphic cover design and interior layout for self-published authors, independent and traditional publishers for years. He has developed a reputation for excellent work, fast turnarounds, and best of all, affordable pricing. NZ Graphics also produces ebooks and book marketing materials such as posters, sell sheets, postcards, bookmarks, business cards, logos, and more. Books designed for his clients have won multiple book awards, including Best Book Award by U.S. Book News, multiple Evie Awards from the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, Indie Book Awards, the San Francisco Book Festival Award, and Freedom Medal Award from Valley Forge. Visit www.nzgraphics.com or call 303 985 4174 for more details about making your book the success it should be. Mention that you are an FOJ, friend of Judith's, and that you heard about NZ Graphics on your guide to book publishing. One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978-458-2345 and ask for Tom Campbell. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book. If you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, so Mitchell Levy left us dangling with an aha moment. And so when I asked him, how do you go about aha this and that, that, and then I said this and that, but how do you go about really doing some of the things? And he's really developed a very unique process, which I want, I, I've done one show on this before. It's been really wait, almost two years, and it's always good to come back and look at what you can see with the whole aha book concept. So let's jump into that a little bit, Mitchell. Oh, sure. Well, even before we, we talk about what a aha book is, let me, just, let me just put it out this way. If you're an author and you're marketing yourself or in your, you're in business in any way and you're marketing yourself or you work for a company, and, and I'm going to say you market yourself because the, what's happening today is every individual is their own brand. You get hired at a company because you have a brand, even if, even if that hiring is at a, a, a very small shop or at a fast food restaurant, it's because you have a brand. That brand could just be, hey, he's a good guy to work with. Well, if you, in today's world, you want to have a brand, you have to have some form of presence on social media. And that presence could be a good-looking LinkedIn page. That's a very minimum. You know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever the appropriate uh, components are. And then having a good presence means that, you know, you've talked about sort of who you are and what you represent. And every now and then you need to share content. And that's the interesting part. And so we have a platform. It's ahathat.com. There are 33,000 quotes in the platform that are available for anyone to get access to and share for free. And a number of those quotes are from you, Judith. And that's the interesting part is, is you now have the ability to, step one, help your presence by sharing somebody else's aha moment. You're writing the coattails of Judith Bryles, of Joel Kahn, of Lori Ruff, Mitchell Levy. You're writing the coattails of 
thought leaders, or in this case, aha leaders, who have created books in the past, and they're saying to you, hey, why don't you share this content with your audience? And within seconds, you have access to 33,000 quotes that you could be sharing uh, for free. I love sharing. And, and, you know, here's what's cool. When other people know you're sharing, they're new. they actually will also reshare. So you expand your horizons exponentially. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, well, that's the, that's the super cool part. So, yes. Short answer, yes. Uh, you know, what's interesting, and this is one of the biggest problems we have, is we, we have many, you know, you, you reach a point where you're bright, you're capable, you're sought after as a speaker, and then what you start seeing is people stealing your content. They take your ideas, they don't give you attribution, and they, and they actually use it in their own, on their own websites or on their own social media. Well, what AHA that has done is found a way to give appropriate attribution to the author. And we do it simply with a Twitter handle. And so every time you're sharing content of somebody else's from the platform, you're actually including their Twitter handle. And so what's really fascinating is you're letting your network know good, compelling AHA moments. You're sharing with them good content. But because the Twitter handle is there, you're also notifying the author's network that you're sharing their content. So the author, um, whether it's just a local Joe around the corner or somebody who is a world-recognized leader, the author, or in a world-recognized leader, probably their social media team, is being notified that you're sharing their content, and their audience is seeing it, and you're going to be picking up new friends, new relationships who will tweet and retweet the content you're sharing of somebody else's that, once again, only took seconds for you to, to look at, read, and then decide to share. Which is very cool. I mean, you, you know I'm a Twitter bug. I, I prefer Twitter over all of them. <laughs> it's, it's my – because it's fast. I can do it at a time, and I don't have to think a lot. Uh, your ability I, – I kind of remember when you wrote your first AHA book. We should talk about that next. But when mm. you wrote your first AHA book, you – you put out you put out uh, Twitter size quotes faster than many people. You're pretty good at that. Well, I've learned it. You know, that's how we've grown our show and our followers um, with Twitter. I mean, I've always said Twitter was the main thing that supported um, our our podcast uh, post, and I think that that is the way that a lot and and I think that when people look at news feeds, it's really Twitter that runs a lot of that. And of course, with the, with the recent, and, and we, we should probably add this, this is kind of a little side note, but Facebook has come out with, in the last two weeks, saying that they are going to um, devalue, it's my word, but, but it, it, what it said is that they were going to reduce uh, any f- feeding from publishers and that kind of promotion that comes out. And so you've got to figure out other ways to get around and being clever with your words and your usage and your hashtags and everything else on how you communicate. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of authors were relying on Facebook is where they announced things and they, got, they were able to push things out. And you're going to have to do a lot of redirects. You either make some private groups that, that and, and Twitter is, I mean, Facebook is saying that they are going to lessen, lessen, lessen the coverage that you push you out when you're doing publishing related promotion, which I think is kind of shocking, but that's what they're going to do because they want to bring it back to the family and friends stuff. Fascinating. I you know. know it keeps, All right. The thing, the thing is, it keeps changing, right? That's the one thing to think about in this world. It keeps morphing and changing. I know. Well, that's why Twitter makes me cuckoo. All right. So as we move into this, <laughs> as we go back and forth. So let's let's jump into um, how do you, uh, the, those aha moments as you, you push them out and that, and it's important to understand what authors do get from their books. But, you know, we did this, uh, we, we did put together a book. The, bo- the first book I did with you, we've done a couple uh, Mitchell is that I reached out to all the uh, speakers at the Author You Extravaganza this year, and I asked them to send me a whole bunch of nuggets. 
that we could do. And we put together a very fast and furious book um, with them. And then at the extravaganza last year, uh, you were there and people were giving you one-liners throughout it. And by the time we were done, we had another book. So over a couple of days. And I know you're going to be speaking at the at the Author You Extravaganza on the 15th. You and I are going to be the kickoff morning speakers on Thursday, the September 15th. And you're actually going to do walk them through this process. Is that not correct? Uh, no, that is absolutely correct. Yeah. And, and, and show fun. them. But by the time they leave the extravaganza, they can have a, another book in hand that they never even realized. <laughs> well, that's it. For those at the extravaganza, I'm, I'm actually going to be there for the, the three days. So Part of what people can get if they're interesting is a, a is a little bit of my free time because um, I'm going to be there, so I'm happy to chat anyhow. And we've put together as a publisher, uh, we've published over 800 books so far, um, and every book in Aha uh-huh That has been at some point in time. Th- this won't be able to last forever, but. As a publisher, when I first started publishing, I thought I was going to read every book, and it's just not humanly possible. But with AHA That, I've, I've read most of the books and helped the authors figure out their purpose. And that's what's really interesting. It, it, one of the questions I want to ask is, what is a book? And if we define the end product as not just, uh, not just what – you know, who's the, you know, not just knowing your audience and knowing the audience pain, but being able to satisfy the purpose that the author put the book in place for. And if you could, if you could actually accomplish that with an aha book, which is comprised of 140 Twitter sized quotes, then why shouldn't you take eight to 10 hours? Or if you crowdsource the content two to three to write your book. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, and, and you, you can do that and very quickly. And it's just, it's just an add-on. It's these little variables. But the AHA books are books that have nuggets in them. I always think of they're just, it's, they're loaded with little nuggets. Yeah, it's the, old, it's the old quote book. You know, you'd walk to the, you walk to the counter at a local convenience store and you see a quote book on, you know, Irish proverbs or something. And you're like, oh, that's kind of cute. And you may pick it up. This one's different because... Not only is it a book with, with quotes and verse, but now you have something that you can share. As a matter of fact, what happens is when people write their AHA books, they're not really recognizing immediately, but I'll let you know now. You're also putting in at least a quarter's worth of your social media marketing plan. Because 140 quotes, you know, you could, you could take a quarter. Some people take two to share 140 quotes. Um, now, Judith, I think you do that in five days, but that's a different story. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, here we go. So just... we, we have to do those kind of things. But the the area that we we want to do is in, in, in putting these things together in eight to ten minutes. So why don't we just start, kind of start a little game plan here, Mitchell, that I'd like to do is let's kind of set it up. We've got a, a couple of minutes before we take another break here. But what do we need to do to get into the middle t- uh, frame, first of all? Um, to do an aha book, and then secondly, what what ingredients do I need to have to start rolling it? So the easiest thing, what we've done, um, and, and given that we've we've got thirty three thousand quotes, we, we've have a proven process that we've seen work over and over. The average author is spending eight to ten hours. I've got two authors that consistently write their books in two hours. That's not me, by the way. I can't, I can't write 140 quotes in two hours. And the place to start is I'll give you a URL. It's ahathat.com slash author. So it's ahathat.com slash author. And on that page, you know, you'll see videos. You'll see testimonials. But more importantly, you'll actually see a seven-step process, which is uh, the time-tested, proven process that allows an author to walk from the beginning to the end and write their book. And, uh, and your question was, where do you start? Well, first go to alhavat.com slash author, and step number one is answering a Word document with four questions. 
And and those four questions are, it, and by the way, they're they're kind of questions within questions. So it's a little bit more than four questions. But I say the four question document. You know, what's your name? What's your bio? And then, more importantly, what's the title and subtitle of your book and the paragraph summary, what's your book about? And, and when you start thinking about that, and there's another question, what, what does the reader get from your book, right? So it's really answering those, those four questions that we came up at the beginning of the session. And it, it really is the way we look at it. It's the project plan for your writing. So when you come up with an aha message, you need to look at it in context to that Word document, to the answers to your questions. And more importantly, when our content editors are reading your book, they're reading it within context of how you answer those questions. Because a good quote, we call them aha messages, but a good, a good aha message can be really good for one book, but if you, if you change what your audience is and how you're going after them, it may not be good that same quote may not fit in another book, another style, if it's not the purpose of what you want to accomplish. And well, so and that's exactly what we're talking about. You've got to know who yeah. you're writing for, what the purpose is, and then what your, your content editors are making sure that you're staying true to what you said and keeping you on target. We're going to be right back with after, after a short break. Mitchell Levy is with us, and we're talking about how can you create a book in a couple of hours, less than a day, have another book in hand. How hot is that? It's Author You, your guide to book publishing. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing with Judith Bryles, we will provide you a discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll-free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. Take more control of printing costs with print on demand and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, Mitchell teased us, teased us with how we're going to do this book in seven steps. And if you go to aha, A-H-A, that, dot com forward slash author, you will see the steps in the process. So the first, the first real step is, you know, kind of the nuts and bolts, like who you are, you know, a short paragraph about what the book's going to be about, uh, dealing with the purpose and, the, you know, the question and, and all that. And that's really done to when his team gets involved with it and make sure all these, these quotes that you've created are consistent with what you said the purpose was. So it's really a checkpoint to keep you on, on, on track. Did I summarize that, Mitchell? Can I say yes and? And, yes. Um, and that data, by the way, uh, we call it, we use that, those answers to create the metadata for your book. 
and the mm-hmm. marketing content for your book. So mm-hmm. we purpose those answers into content that we use on the AHA That website. And if we end up publishing your book on Kindle or in the book channels, that's the content we use to basically create the marketing, uh, the, the marketing metadata that we use when we, when we distribute your book out, outside. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I want to uh, just add into this. Um, Kathy Meese is going to be doing a killer session on metadata and branding at the Author You Extravaganza. She is the CEO of Bublish, which is an amazing, fabulous methodology to market and brand your book and, and bring people in virally to it. And that you all authors need to understand how important the right words that you're tackling with metadata. And that's what Mitchell's saying, that it's what you're using is consistent because that's how the the social media is going to be developed and your keywords around you. So it's it's very important. Metadata is is essential to part of your author's success. All right. So step two. Um, step two we have a step two is really easy. There is a PDF document. It's a one-page document of what makes a good, compelling quote. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of if, if, if even if you uh, never write an aha book, it's what makes a good tweet, what makes a good what makes a good post on Facebook, um, you know, what makes a good Google Plus post. So anyhow, that's a one. So step two is to read the one-page document. Uh, step three is we provide a spreadsheet. So whether or not you want to use Google Docs, um, we give you the format. Or if you want to use an Excel spreadsheet, it is a spreadsheet that you can now use to be putting down your AHA messages. And so it just keeps a character count for you. It keeps track for you. And it's a vehicle that we use when we send them off to our copy and content editors. It's a vehicle we use to communicate back and forth with you um, when we do the copy edit and the content edit. So pretty simple. Right. Step four. Now, here's really interesting. Step four is, is also simple, and that is to send your Excel spreadsheet to us. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, I like send sales uh, spreadsheet. Some of the stuff, okay, what's, yeah, on, uh, what's on the sales spreadsheet? Oh, no, no, it's to send the spreadsheet to us. I know. It's not a sales spreadsheet. It's the it's the sending. It's basically step four is okay. You're done writing. Uh, send it oh. to your publisher. Oh, s- send content. Yes. <laughs> Here, I I thought okay, we have a sales spreadsheet. What the hell is that? Okay. I, I, I and by the way, it's great. I'm reading. Uh, I'm reading my uh, the shopping cart. The step five is the is the shopping cart. That's when you pay. So we charge to publish an aha book. And what's that um, range? Oh, it's um, we charge four hundred and fifty dollars to actually publish a book on Aha That, and what we do for that is we'll do the cover design, a copy edit, a content edit. You get a customized URL. So basically, for four hundred and fifty, you now have published a book. And I think one thing, Judith, that we hadn't talked about is for those people who are still writing their traditional books. You know the the twenty five, thirty, forty thousand word books, or even a a ten thousand book uh, ebook. Having a complimentary aha book is a tool that you can use to be marketing your book. Mm-hmm. So it's not an either or. I mean, for those people who just want to quickly write a book, going and just writing an aha book is great. Uh, for those well, let, people who are let me make a writing, suggestion. You know, uh, a marketing style that that you all might want to think about. Um, we're we're doing it more and more with fiction books, where we're getting authors to uh, write kind of a prelude, a setup, part of the little story, to tie it in to lead to the big book coming behind it. But to to, to create as a teaser, you could create your aha books as the prelude um, of of the coming book to come. And Ooh. and offer that whether you do it for a freebie or you know you you could go, you could do a whole special run um, with that to really get it set the stage uh, for what's to come. And for those of you who have been listening to me a while, know that I'm a huge, huge believer in that one of the best ways that you sell books is by speaking 
on and about your books is that this would be a, something that you could shoot off to a meeting planner um, that as a gift to them saying these are these are uh, wisdom points that will be coming out of my next book that are appropriate for your audience. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies that you could do in here. That, that's what I'm sensing. Oh, beautiful. Love that. Well, you like that? I think if, if you do, I love that a lot. I, I, well, I hadn't really, I've not spent enough time with fiction authors, and you've given me a, a huge uh, amount of, uh, you give me my aha moment. At least oh so God, far. I love that Mitchell. <laughs> and, and, well, by the way, that's as you're listening to this, I would mm-hmm. I would tell you or, or anyone listening, if somebody actually gives you an aha moment, look them in the eye and thank them and say, Hey, you gave me an aha moment. It's going to change the way I'm thinking and processing. In this particular case, for fiction authors, not only can you put a prelude to what your book is going to be, but what we hadn't talked about is any one of those quotes can include a URL. And so that URL could be, hey, sign up for my mailing list to get the first chapter for free, or um, contribute your ideas of how you think it should end, right? I mean, it's a way in which you could use the AHA book as not just a prelude of what you're doing, but a way to engage your audience and get feedback. And there's no question, fiction authors are uh, certainly covet having book clubs, um, to and that, that's one of the ways that they do market. To, there's so many different types of book clubs in that genre, in, in the multiple genres there, and that sending this, giving it to them, part of the book club, it, is a great way to introduce yourself and also um, hopefully set up kind of maybe a Skype engagement that you can talk to their club about your forthcoming book or when the book's in hand. And, of course, you're available for free when they all have the book in hand and you can talk to them. Uh, oh, how and, cool and, is that? And, well, so that could easily be an aha message that's in your book mm-hmm. that says, hey, mm-hmm. talk to this, the, the, up, the author of this upcoming book, blah, 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 talk to them over Skype, schedule it here. Right, that would be the that would be the message, and then imagine having your fans sharing that message in their network. Mm-hmm. And the other thing That's is, it. you would put at the back of your book because I I often tell my my especially my fiction authors I want them to create kind of a uh, not a, a study guide sounds so academic, but a discussion a discussion guide for book clubs that you could put in there, making a note to download. Uh, with a coupon of some sort, a the complete aha book to add to their discussion. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies you could do. I love that. And then for those who are listening, I did mention the price for fifty to publish an aha book. There is a way to get that less expensively, and that is we're right in the middle of we launched uh, last week a Kickstarter for something new we're doing. And we're calling it the Aha Blaster. And so the Kickstarter is to build a software component to AHA that, that will automatic. right now, Judith, one of the problems that you and I have talked about is that in order to make AHA that work is you go to the platform, you find the quote you want, and you share it. And as easy as that is, there are still people who, who just don't find the time to go back on a daily basis and share. So what the AHA Blaster is is a scheduling tool. So you can go in and say, hey, I'd like to schedule my AHA book. So, you know, you take a minute to schedule it, and then all 140 quotes will be shared over whatever time frame you want it scheduled. Mm-hmm. So you actually Is there a way, are, are you going to let me, because I use Hootsuite, but there's Buffer, there's Edward, you know, there's all kinds of uh-huh. stuff that you can do. So w- with the management tools, is there some way that you can incorporate that, that that can be integrated in? That would be incredibly hot, Mitchell. Yeah, well, today, anyone who's using AHA, that can always use Buffer. That's an easy tool. Uh, we don't have an interface into Hootsuite yet because we haven't had, uh, honestly, we haven't had enough requests for it. Um, so we don't well, have a Hootsuite interface yet. Well, this girl uh, is but, requesting it. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Well, with the, with the Blaster, what's nice is for your particular book, you could say, hey, I want, to, I want this blasted over the next five days, or I want, this, I want this shared over the next quarter. 
you can say, oh, okay, I want it sure two times a day, five days a week, and now you've got a quarter, a quarter and a half worth of content. You just schedule it once, and it goes forever. So we're doing the, the Kickstarter, and in the Kickstarter, some of our prizes, one of them is, um, is the AHA book publishing. So instead of four fifty, it's three ninety five plus. You get two Aha keys, which we're going to be selling for eighty dollars each. So it's like a six hundred and ten dollar value we're selling for three ninety five. Uh, let me give you the let me give you that because it, it, the worst uh, if you don't want to do that, but you just want to be able to share stuff, share content. Um, just getting a key, we do we have an early bird special for twenty five dollars for an Aha key. So the URL for that is aha.pub, A-H-A dot P-U-B, slash Kickstarter. It will bring you to the Kickstarter, and, and uh, we're running it for another month and a half. So we, we, you know, we, we, will, we will not have any problems reaching our goals. We're, we're over halfway there so far, and we just started last week. Um, but it's a very powerful platform, and it's a great way to, to get access to this content um, and the vehicle at a at prices which are certainly less than retail. Okay, so uh, I need to know what a key is. Yeah, so uh, it's the way we structured it. Um, so an AHA book has 140 quotes in it, and yeah. if you as the author or you send it to somebody else, they would sh- be sharing the quotes one at a time. So the key basically is 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 what we're what we want to do with the with the Kickstarter, and as we want to build the Aha Blaster, which will allow you to schedule the entire book. So an Aha key basically gives is what you get to unlock the ability to schedule the entire book. So when you it, have a it, key, yeah. let's say I bought uh-huh. a key. Um, if I have uh-huh. a key, then I have that in perpetuity. You have the ability to schedule any one book one time. Okay, so and, a, a, key, a key goes with each book. Is that correct? Uh, there, well, a key could. Um, we haven't we haven't built it yet. We have an alpha version, so so I'm, I'm certainly taking suggestions. At the moment, we were we were going to create both specific keys and universal keys. And one of the things that I got this suggestion, which I really love, is when you buy a key, um, what you're going to be able to do is share it with two of your friends. So if you buy the key, the retail price will be eighty. Like I said, we're we're selling them for twenty five on the uh, for the early bird. Uh, and once we run out, then the price goes up. But uh, when you buy that key, you also get to share it with two friends. So if you're the author and you end up buying a key, um, or if you're a company and you end up buying a hundred keys, each one of the people who are sharing now have the ability to share with two of their friends who can also then unlock the book and share it. Okay, and that's on your Kickstarter. And that's on the Kickstarter, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. All right, we're going to take a quick break, our final break, and then we'll be back with just a few more things um, dealing with marketing and some other ideas for you to be a seriously successful author. Marshall Le- Mitchell Levy is my guest today, and we're talking AHA That. <laughs> This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Browse will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Browse is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. 
Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from one to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four color high speed inkjet printing, a cost effective way to introduce color into your short run titles. We of course offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, Mitchell. So I love the key idea. I think that's very, very, very cool. And um, is that is that uh, is that Kickstarter going to still be live at the Extravaganza next month, or you're going to be done and completed? Uh, it's going to be. I, I, it worked out really well, timing wise. It'll be live at the Extravaganza. It will be live. Fabulous. Well, that'll be great um, on that. All right. So the. Other things that, you know, doing these, these short books, quotes, I mean, I actually, one of, one of my push-outs I'm going to have um, is that I know that sharing quotes, people love to share quotes. It's, it's one of those high reshares. It's one of the hottest ways to start building fans and your followers um, in social media. So having a book that is loaded with your ahas, your tidbits, um, your key concepts. And, 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 and as you write, especially in nonfiction, there are so many, when I'm working with, with uh, authors' books that I have the pleasure uh, that, that I get to work with, that I find so many really juicy lines, um, uh, really those ahas that we actually make call-outs out of and we, we use opening. And never a chapter goes by that I can see anywhere from three to ten that are really good. Those are just ideal quotes. I mean, your so work every, is it's sitting in front of you. Every book you work on, yeah, every book you have, you work on, by definition, if you if it's done right, is also an aha book. Yes. Or yes. can be made there, into one, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That that you could just parallel it at that time. So that that's what's really critical. So let's talk about marketing here a little bit. Um, that, you know, you and I both agree that 10% of your work is really just right in that book. 90% of successes <laughs> you're going to have is become from the marketing side. Uh, now, this is a shock. Hopefully it's not a shock for anyone listening because they've heard you speak before. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and what I loved going to your conference last year because you were very, what's the right word, forthright. On standing up, because this is not true with many people just say, hey, you write your book and you're done. Well, no, 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 that's mm. 10%. <laughs> the rest is making sure the book is in the hand of the right person who's going to be reading it, right? Or here's the interesting part. Now, now this is something I have to say. It is not necessarily relevant that the person who has your book reads it, as long as they – as long as the purpose of why they have the book is accomplished, right? So if you're a nonfiction author and you want to get hired and all that matters is they're sitting there holding your book in your hand or seeing a quote that you have and they say, oh, man, I want to hire this person. I want them speaking on my stage. That's all that matters. 
Right. They don't need to read your book. I, I know, and this is hard for authors to listen to because you spend all this time writing content, you want people to read it. Um, but the point is they have such a limited ability to spend time, you want them to read enough so that you can accomplish your goal. So marketing is making sure that you're seen in one way, shape, or form. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're seen because you've spent uh, money to, to put an ad in the New York Times. It means that your audience who you're going after directly, you've touched personally, or somebody in your network has helped you touch somebody personally in your audience. And that's really what promoting, I think, or marketing is all about. If you go for those that want to cheat, whether or not you write an aha that book, um, we we have on the aha that authoring process. Um, we actually we even though I say it's a seven step process, I, I steps eight to ten is marketing, <laughs> and, and we have a mm. single PDF page, which is how do you promote your aha book, and so whether or not you write a aha that or an aha book or not. I go to that page, download the PDF, and it gives you a ton of ideas that are applicable for more traditional books as well as aha books. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's the block and tackle of what happens in marketing. You know, maybe we should. I mean, maybe we need to redefine our steps. <laughs> maybe step one is we ask the question: How are you going to market your book? Oh, I, by the way, I have that in the. <laughs> I actually have that in, in my four questions. That is that is the last question is how, how are you going to market it? Uh, so we really have five questions now, Mitchell? Well, <laughs> it, yeah, maybe we do. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm just going to redefine this here. So number five now is, and how are you going to work your tush off to market your book? <laughs> Yeah, you know what, maybe you're you're right. In terms of what we talked about at the beginning of this conversation, you are absolutely right. Um, Because even that, whether you're uh, an author who who dreams, fantasizes about, is strategizing about uh, hooking up with a traditional publisher, or you're bypassing that and you're going to uh, publish it yourself, become an indie publisher – that the the one thing that you have a couple things you have in common when you have a book, but here's the other thing is you are going to market the book. Don't expect a traditional publisher to market your book. That they they expect you to do it. That's why you have got. They're interested in people with huge social media followings. They're interested in you saying I'm putting bucks in and I'm going to hire a publicist, or I'm hiring a social media expert, or I'm doing something because your job is to drive people to bookstores, not theirs. And it has dramatically changed from when I first started publishing over 30 years ago, where I was a kept author, and they took care of everything. They took care of everything. It taint the reality of today, and authors have got to get over that who think they're going to go to the traditional route. And the other thing is, and I don't know if you know this, Mitchell, but over half of all books now are published by self and indie uh, publishers. Oh, over I half. Was, I thought it was bigger than that, but got you. Yeah, well over I thought, half. I thought the number has always been bigger than that, but I, uh, it, it's a huge number. Yeah, well, you've got three million books being published a year now. So, new books. So, you've got to figure out how to stand apart from the crowd. And I think that the things, the tips that Mitchell's been talking about, of creating these really short books that are loaded with nuggets of quotes and ahas, and and really, I love the idea of thinking them as a prelude um, that that we can really bring it together um, and do it as a tease, offer it as a freebie to get them to lead into whatever your other masterpiece that's coming along is a great marketing strategy. And that's something that you can shoot out long before you have your book to start the buzz building machine. Yeah, and, and even if you end up hiring somebody to help you on social media, if you've written your AHA book, you're giving them the tools that they can use to be more successful. 
Although what I, what I may argue is with, with the AHA Blaster, you may not need to hire that social media mm-hmm. person because it, it, it'll happen for you automatically. Mm-hmm. Um, but you may hire other people to help build your mailing list in one, one way, shape, or form. And, and that's, you're starting to see that on social is a lot of experts whose goals out there. We, 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 we started the Kickstarter, and I've got, I think, two or three emails from companies who help drive social media to help people be successful on Kickstarters. And I just thought, what a great idea. They're, they're watching the networks, and they're, they're figuring out who their customers are, what their pain points are, and, and coming up with a solution. And as an author, that, I, I really love that as one of the questions, Judith. What is the solution? So take a look at ahadapp.com slash author. We have a, once again, a single page at the end on how to promote yourself. And there's a series of steps, a number of those, and this is very cool, a number of those, if you go to the author you extravaganza, there are people spending entire sessions on different components of these steps. So we, you know, we, we give a high-level overview, and it's worth looking at, and it will be a prelude to if you actually went to the conference, seeing, seeing the other speakers speak and what they're highlighting and what they're focused on. And it's all there. So if you go to authorueextravaganza.org, the entire agenda is laid out. You can see everybody who's playing <laughs> there and really why you should go. You'll find it's going to be the best investment for your dollar. Of course, it's tax deductible because it's all education and supporting your business. But also Denver, where it's going to be located, is a great place to be um, in September. It's not going to be snowing. The weather will probably have Indian summer going on. It will be beautiful time of the year. But the best thing about the extravaganza, and as Mitchell shared earlier, he will be there all three days. Our speakers are not swoopers. Here's what a swooper is. They come in and they do their presentation. Everyone loves them, and then they split. Our speakers hang out, and they're there. They're accessible. They work with you. They'll brainstorm with you. And and one of the things that's really unique about the Author You Extravaganza is that we actually feed you real food. <laughs> You get well fed That's important. during the entire conference. Remember that, Mitchell? Well, I do, and I, I, I'll just reiterate, when you're there at a conference, I'm going there, and the reason I'm spending three days is, is, is not just to be nice to Judith, but I also want to interact not just with those in the audience. I want to interact with the other speakers. So I already have meetings and time scheduled with other speakers because we're planning our next set of activities together. And that's something exactly. to be thinking about. Yeah, it's very powerful. It, it, exactly. Okay, I want to give you one more tip, and we're going to close off here. But I think this would be a great idea with, with an AHA book, is that create it like a book funnel. And land it, create it, land it on your homepage. Push, 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 push out. Drive people to come and get it as a freebie to pick up and then you gather their name and their email and then you start building a relationship, a different relationship with them. But it's a great giveaway to push out. It's something that once you have together, it'll last for a long time and you start creating several of these, you can start rotating them. So that's my last tip. I agree. Actually, and for speakers, um, Mm -hmm. you could stand up in front of an audience and you could say, okay, I'm speaking now for the next 30 minutes. Here's the URL to my AHA book. I want you to take out your computer or your phone. I want you to go to that book, and I want you to share. And the person who shares the most is going to win the following, right? Oh. And so, so it's a very interesting way because now in the middle of your talk, you're having people sharing your content, and it could be your highlights from the speech that you've already prepared for them to mm-hmm. uh, share with you. Oh, well, very let's cool put stuff. that together, and I'll do that during my talk. All right. All right, so with this, Mitchell Levy's been with us, AHA that. Dot com forward slash author get going and creating a book that will surprise you in a short period of time and delight your followers mitchell thanks for being with me oh it's always a pleasure spending time with you judith thank you all right take care everyone come to the author you extravaganza it's author you extravaganza.org we'll see you next month and i'll talk with you next week Hey, right, take care people bye now Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. 
Each week, a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take you, the author, to the next level. You'll learn tips and secrets on how to create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve book publishing success by making one very simple change in your book's journey. How to avoid the publishing predators. How to create an author and book platform that rocks. Learn how to make a living with your words and your books. Learn how to publish a book that has no regrets and so much more. For more information, check out AuthorU.org, where authors who want to be seriously successful go. And Judith's website, TheBookShepherd.com. Then join us again here next week for more. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Riles. Brought to you by Author You and the Book Shepherd. Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, 